Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and welcome to our latest video. And today I've got quite a special unboxing video for you. Uh, towards the end of last year, I celebrated quite an important birthday. I turned 40. I know, it's quite hard to believe that this childish idiot is actually 40, but I am. And Robin, Ed and Matt very kindly all chipped together and got me one of these. The Bandai Space Marine collectible action figure. Um, it's in Ultramarines blue, it is pre-painted. It is the true color of any Space Marine. And if you don't agree, you're wrong. Um, but how cool is this box? I haven't, I haven't even taken this out of the cellophane. This is how much. I've literally only just picked this up from Robin. Uh, it should have been delivered in April. So we've had a slight delay, probably about a month's delay, but considering the current situation, that's not actually that bad. So he's not even out of the wrapper. Uh, so get some information from the website. The box is beautiful as well, I've got to say. Um, the back art, look at the back art. All the different poses you can have him in. He is completely posable. He does come with hand selections as well. Now I have seen on social media that a few people have had parts missing, mainly around by the ankle joint. And I've not even opened this guy yet, so we might open him up and go, ah, damn it, there's a part missing. Let's go and take the cellophane off and let's go and have a look inside the box. I've taken the cellophane off and I've just broken the sellotape at the very, very top. Now I'm going to come to the set, to the side here because I don't think I can do this on camera because it's quite a big box. So does this bit does this bit slide out? Does it not slide out? Anyway, let's take that bit out. Oh, there he is in all of his glory. Let's just drop the box to the side a second. Let's have a look. There's going to be more cellar tape, isn't there? Of course there is. Let's get me a uh, trusty hobby scalpel. I probably have just devalued this by about 100, 200 quid just by uh, taking it out of the box, but this is not going on any resale website. This is being kept. So, here we go. Let's take that top part off. Let's have a look at him. Well, first things first, he looks like he is all there. I'm going to have to put the camera up because he's just too big. So, that is pretty damn cool, actually. Look at that. Then you've got the bolter, the combat blade, and then you've got the other hands and the backpack underneath. If I bring that round to the side, they're just in the next level down. So, I'm just going to pop the camera back down. We'll have a look at taking him out. Oh man, he is fully posable as well. Look, everything cool moves. The knee joints move, the thighs. Look, the feet turn up. Wrists move, elbow joints, shoulders. I'm guessing the head turns, yeah. Waist, yeah, waist turns. It's always a scary noise, isn't it? You hear a slight crack. Backpack, so, the actual Primaris Marine. Combat blade and the bolter and then I'm guessing and I am correct there's even more sellotape so we'll just get rid of that get rid of that that one's easy okay so we should be able to take out now this layer, get rid of that. So in here, oh man, this is even set together. So we've got the, the hands open, close for gripping the bolter, and then we've got the backpack. Oh, yes, I've already cut the set tape on that. See, oh, I said I've already cut the set tape on that, but no, this one has not. This is literally like watching an idiot trying to cut set tape with a scalpel. That's exactly what is happening. Talking about yourselves for a second, guys. Just while I, uh... there we go. Get rid of, open up all the horrendous bits of cellar tape. Okay, finally. Honestly, there's enough packaging in here to destroy a small country. So, backpack, and then the hands as well. Look at that, I've set up a nice little backdrop for it and I've gone slid it away. So, 
everything that comes in here. Backpack, bolter, Primaris Marine, combat blade, and the hands. So, what we're gonna do now, is let's put his, let's put his backpack on when we shift all those horrendous bits of plastic. So that should just clip in, which it does. That looks pretty sweet. It is actually pretty cool, isn't it? And it's fully poseable as well, which I love that. Let's get his feet a bit sorted. Oh, here we go. Look, he's not going to stand up now, is he? Is it the weight of the backpack, do we think? Make him a little bit top heavy. So he's got closed fists like he's punching. So I'm guessing these just come off, yeah. So we want him to hold the bolter in that hand. How easy is this to do while on camera? Okay. And I'm guessing we can make him fully poseable. Never try a multitask. Film a video, mess around with an action figure. All at the same time is never a good combination. Come on, get in. I really wanted one of these. I'm so glad the lads got me one because I was I was really, really tempted uh, to get one of these and to have, have it purchased for you for a birthday present is pretty, pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh, his finger goes through the trigger. Of course it does. Okay, and then just, oh that's good, that bit comes off as well then, I'll sort that out in a second, and then you can pose him like that I'm guessing, so he's kind of holding on to the bolter, anyway, I'm going to have a play, and I'm going to get him into some poses. Initial thoughts of the Bandai action figure? Pretty damn good, actually. I think he they've done a really good job. I like the posability of him. I like the fact that you get the different hand options. I like the fact you got a combat blade and the bolter in there as well. I'm just going to finish off by turning him around. So we'll go all the way around him. He is fully flexible, knees, thighs, in and out, waist. Oh, he can, oh, come on, he can even lean forward. He can bow. That's pretty sweet, actually. I didn't even know he could do that. Uh, head, forwards, left, right. Yeah, so you can have him looking down, up, up and down. Arms completely and utterly. Pauldrons move as well, look. They move in and out, probably just to make it easier and more flexible. These move a little bit, obviously, with the adaption of the body. But overall, I think that is a pretty cool addition to any hobby room, actually. Um, massive thank you to Ed, Robin and Matt who ordered this for me, obviously. Uh, he's in the Ultramarines colours. Will they ever do different chapters? I don't know. I think they'll be daft if they didn't, to be quite honest. There's a lot of people out there who don't like the Ultramarines, let's all face facts, and probably won't purchase him because he is an Ultramarine. Or they'll purchase him and repaint him, which is always an option. He, he looks quite easy to paint up, actually, but obviously I'm going to leave him as he is in his true colours. Um, but yeah, really, really, really nice. If you've got one, what do you think? Um, I'd love to see what poses you've put them in. So if you've got one of these and you've got them in some funky poses, pop along to our Facebook page or, or, or our Instagram page, upload them, tag us in them so we can see them. That'd be amazing. So we can have a look at what, uh, what you guys have got out there as well. Um, I'd love to see a Space Wolf one. Not even going to lie. I would love to see a Space Wolf one of these. I think that... Uh, Games Workshop have probably sold quite a few of these and they've probably gone down quite well. So I think they should definitely think about maybe uh, looking at other chapters, some Space Wolves, some Blood Angels, some Salamanders. I mean, you can even get Dark Angels if you really need to go, wanting to go down the Chaos route. But absolutely fantastic miniatures. They are brilliant, actually, I've got to say. Really, really, really impressed. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget, if you have got one of these, go uh, find us on Facebook, Instagram. Tag us in the photos. I'd love to see what you've done with them. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please like. It does really help out the channel. Would I recommend getting one of these? If you're a fan of the Ultramarines, yes, every day of the week. If you're going to get one and repaint them, why not? Bit of a challenge. 
Um, but yeah, so please like it, just help out the channel. Please comment um, what are your thoughts. Tempted to get one, not tempted to get one. Why not subscribe if you haven't done so already? Don't forget to click that bell icon so you never miss any of our content. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.